Uh, now, for example, following the U.S. bombing of Iraq in 1991, the United States wound up with military bases in Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Bahrain, Qatar, Oman, and the United Arab Emirates. Every single large-scale U.S. military intervention that the U.S. has undertaken has left behind a new string of U.S. military bases. The relationship between um, bases and war is a hand-in-glove relationship. Following its bombing of Yugoslavia in 1999, the U.S. wound up with military bases in Kosovo, Hungary, Albania, Bulgaria, Macedonia, Bosnia, Croatia. Following its bombing of Afghanistan in 2001 and 2, the U.S. wound up with military bases in Afghanistan, Pakistan, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, Georgia, Yemen, Djibouti. And following its bombing and invasion of Iraq in 2003, the U.S. wound up with Iraq. This is not a very subtle foreign policy. It's certainly not covert. The men who run the American empire are not easily embarrassed. Certainly the unit of empire in the classic European empires was the colony. Uh, the unit for the American empire is not the colony, it's the military base. Bases are the empire. In a symbolic sense, they're a way of showing that America stands there watching. That there are costs for uh, maintaining uh, bases overseas and having empires, uh, but by the same token, you really can't uh, militarily impose empire without them. At this time, the U.S. Department of Defense alone consumes as much petroleum as Sweden does on a daily basis. I mean, the U.S. right now is probably about half a dozen major military bases being built in Iraq in secure places like out in the desert. And these are not small. One of them is held to be the biggest airport in the world outside of Heathrow. It's the Persian Gulf area, the Caspian Sea area, and Africa. That's where the new U.S. bases are being located and precisely the areas where this hard-to-get-at oil is located. The fact that there are people now in countries everywhere that are challenging the U.S. bases in their own country is a crucial development. The size of the arsenal of, of tactical bombs deployed in Europe today um, is five times as big as the arsenals of both um, India and Pakistan. These are big arsenals. It's bigger than the entire Chinese arsenal. Well, as of October 2007, I'd say the United States is uh, stopped dead in its tracks. The empire is running out of gas, not just benzene, I mean money. Things that can't go on forever don't. And that's where we are today.